Hey guys, and welcome to a new DVD collection update video. Finally, after a couple weeks of only doing just the updates. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about movies that scared the shit out of me as a kid. I was going to put that as a tie on the top, but I thought it would be better just saying movies that scared me as a kid. And basically, it doesn't always mean the entire movie scared me. It might just be like one scene or one sequence from the movie that I always remembered being afraid of. And the first movie was Little Monsters. And the whole movie didn't scare me, just certain ideas. The main thing that really scared me in this movie as a kid was the scene with Boy. When um, you see his face and then it pans back, I mean, you know, goes back and you see that it's a monster and his face, when his face gets melted off, that always freaked me out as a kid. I always had, like, I remembered having lots of nightmares like as a recurring nightmare about that sequence and I always had dreams about you know being stuck in that monster area it's just one of those movies that really sticks with you as a kid and most of these movies I saw up until about the age of six I think and then I stopped counting because like after that you're not really like a a little kid I picked most of like the little kid maybe some are a little older the next one even till this day screwed me up because I don't go, I don't like going in the beach water at all. If I go to the beach, I go in not even like any more than like seven inches. I'm like scared to death of, and I, I don't talk about this much, but I don't go in the beach. I don't walk into the water. I hate it. I get so afraid, and it's half. It has a lot to do with because of Jaws. I saw this at a really young age, and I got. And still to this day, it makes me paranoid about going into the, to the you know. I could, if if someone said. Like, I want you to swim out, like, you know, 30 feet or go into the water where it's, like, you know, 9 feet deep or something. I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd have it back. I just, I don't know. I just, I'm just afraid of that. The other one, this is one that really got to me as a kid. This came out in 1990, so I would have been about 5 when I saw this. It's The Witches. The, the, not the whole movie scared me. Um, the main thing in this movie that always got to me was the Grand High Witch scene when Angelica Houston is taking off her face and you see the witch underneath. Like, I remember as a kid, I used to always go and hide um, in the kitchen because we had a TV room upstairs years ago. Right near the kitchen, I used to hide and peek. And right when that scene was over, I'd come back in and watch. That was the only scene in the entire movie that got to me. But... I was, I don't know, that I was really freaked out by that. The next one, and I don't watch this movie that much because I just haven't really gotten to watch it again. I had the inspiration to because of how freaked out I was by it as a kid. I know a lot of people love this movie, but um, it's a never-ending story. And the, th and the thing about this, and I was telling talking to MJ about it, he said it didn't freak him out, but something about that flying thing, I don't remember the name, but I know like Bastion flies on that like flying animal thing whatever that was and like something about as a kid the scales to it like, I don't know why but I didn't like it and I always fast forwarded through that scene I'm not kidding I would fast forward it because I couldn't handle it and another one that oh, I'm not afraid of clowns but as a kid the, the concept of like in the sewer I don't think I understood it as a, as a kid exactly what it was about I thought for some reason you were gonna be like trapped in the sewer I was sort of an idiot and it's Stephen King's it there's something about this whole movie really I found it really genuinely creepy I, I really think part one of this is a lot better though I mean the first half, half of it when they're kids when, it, when they become adults I don't know the, the story structure and just everything that was happening was not as interesting, interesting and genuine as the first half of it. The first half was really scary. It just it became kind of silly. I don't know. I, I guess there really wasn't too much they could do with it for the second half. Like when I watch it, I usually prefer just to watch the first part. And another one that scared me in a, like in a weird way, not. Like, the movie wasn't scary at all, but what scared me about it was because of it, I started worrying about robbers. So when I was a kid, I saw this in the theaters, I remember, and after I saw it, I became paranoid about robbers, robbers coming into the house, and I used to, like, over here, like, by this thing, I used to always get worried that I saw shadows of, like, people walking, because I got, like, real paranoid that we were going to get robbed, and it's Home Alone 1. I also got freaked out by Home Alone 2, just one sequence, the sequence when he gets in that cab and he's like, it's scary out there, and he goes, it ain't much better than here, kid. That always got to me as well. But there's something about Home Alone, 
at that before that movie, I never was afraid of robbers, and it never it didn't get to me. But after I saw that, I was like petrified of robbers. And I talked to MJ about that, and he said he started getting worried about robbers right after he saw that. And this one I saw, I might have saw a little bit later, but I remember it always creeped me out. Um, Pet Cemetery, the first one. The second one was okay. The first one is the is a must see film. It, what's too bad is this get is getting remade. I see no point in remaking a movie that you know it was made in 1989. That's not that old. I mean, a remake. If you're gonna remake it, it, should be like 30 to 40 years old. Not you know, however, like what 17, like 18, whatever. But you know, I really about 20 now, almost 20. But um. This is a good one, but just like the kid, a lot of stuff about it freaked me out. This one is kind of embarrassing that I got freaked out by the second one. I don't know why I did, but as a kid, like, the sequence that always freaked me out was that sequence about when the girl comes in, goes into the into the fun house, looking for her dog or, or cat, something runs away into the fun house and she goes after it and then gets attacked, and there's like that scene with the knife and that she gets stabbed, it's in Ghoulies 2. And I just remember as a kid, that scene always creeped me out. And I know it's a real comical, silly movie. Don't ask me why, but I was freaked out by that. And another one that I, I genuinely remember always getting creeped out with like two sequences in it was Pee-wee's Big Adventure. And you know, this is one of my, I'd say it's pretty much my all-time favorite movie. But what freaked me out about this was two scenes, those dream sequences that Pee-wee had. The, the main one that got to me was with the clowns and the bike, you know, pushing the bike and dropping it with Francis as the devil, dropping it into that fire. Just as a kid, that really scared me. And these I didn't see as a kid, and I saw them when I was like, you know, like 10 or 11, probably even over, maybe even older. I used to watch stuff on like USA, Up All Night, and Joe Bob Riggs, so I saw a lot of this stuff. So a lot of movies creeped me out as a kid. I used to tape them. I used to know how to tape really well as a kid. I, I started real young taping stuff, and I would just tape like a six-hour tape all night, and then the next day I would just watch through everything. You know, I didn't watch the commercials for some reason, and but the it was Freddy Krueger, the the actual. You know, I didn't even know what they were about, but you know, the Freddy Krueger character always creeped me out. I I just think it was like the unknown and not knowing much about it, but I just remembered always having like nightmares and and I think that Freddy Krueger show was on when I was a kid, and I used to change the channel and see that every once in a while, and that got to me. And I saw this when I was a bit older, but I remember like getting creeped out by certain scenes, mainly that scene when the dead guy's on the hook in the beginning, starting to move around when the the, the toxic gas stuff gets leak starts leaking and the dead guy has the you know the hook thing in his head and the meat locker. That thing always creeped me out. And that little midget guy, or the guy with no legs, whatever it was, eating the guy's brains of Return of the Living Dead. I remember that had always got to me. I'd like to see other people do a video on this too, like things that scared them, especially people who are younger than me, like what movies, you know, later. Because, you know, there's a lot of movies that I th consider scary now, but I saw them when I wasn't a kid. I think a, a cutoff for a kid is like, I guess like eight or nine, because like a kid's like a little kid, not, like if you're like nine or ten, that's not really a kid. It's like, these are more like movies that scared me when I was like really little. Another one I saw young was um, The Lost Boys, and I remembered always getting really afraid by one sequence in this, well maybe two, maybe the one when the vampires were flying down and ripped the roof off, that one, and um, the one when they're eating all those people at the party, I remember that one got to me as well. And another one kind of just freaked me out because like, I didn't like, I used to have this weird fear of scorpions. I don't know. And um, Hook, that scene when Hook, when Captain Hook puts that guy in that box and drops those scorpions in, that always creeped me out. I mean, I don't know, and those scenes when the kids, you know, door to their room flies open with the wind, that always got to me as well. 
And both of these movies, as a kid, I kept renting them and watching them and always becoming paranoid after I watched them. I got so scared of them. I don't know why I kept watching them. But I like them. And both of the Hansel and Gretel, Gretels, this one, which was from 1987, which was directed by Len Talon, this was a 126-minute one. And this had a pretty big cast. It had David Warner and, and Cloris Leachman as the witch. But this one... The witch in that really scared me, and just like some of the scenes in the woods, like when I watch this now, I'm thinking I like look at it and go, what? Like pretty much just about all these except for like Jaws, and Pet Cemetery and a few others, I look back at them and go, what? And this other one was Shelley Duvall's one, which was made actually before this one. This one was 87, this was 82, and in Blockbuster I used to always rent these. I miss the original covers though. The tapes had really cool covers of the witch on the front. This one too had um, Ricky Shoulder, Joan Collins, and Paul Dooley in it. This one I remember being really creeped out. This one had, had a like weird cheapness to it. Like, like a really low budget. This one was pretty low budget, but it had more to it. This one was really cheap because it was a television program that I never saw when it was on because I wasn't even born, but I watched them on the tapes. This was the Shelley Duvall. Shelley Duvall did, a lot of people don't remember, she's done, she doesn't do much anymore, but she did a lot of kids programming and produced kids shows. She did this, um, like the Fairy Tale Theater, she did the um, Shelley Duvall's Bedtime Stories, which I know my brother watched all the time as a kid. I think that was a little late for me, but I, I watched some of them and they were good. And some of the ones I don't have, I wrote down. I think I have it. I couldn't find where I put it, though. The original Psycho. I remember when I first watched that, I, and I still sometimes have that fear. I think I always worry someone's going to kill me in the shower. And I, I used to peek out and look, and especially when I was younger, I used to always peek out. And I don't know. It's weird talking about this because it's, it's weird fears. And the other one is really queer that I it, it scared me but it did it was my girl and it was not and the, the, what scared me about that was the fact that Macaulay Culkin got killed by all those bees and after that I became real afraid of bees and I there used to be like bees by the front door and I used to come home from school like in elementary school and was afraid to, to go in and I used to have to run real quick past the bees and sometimes I would stand out there for like 20 minutes going I don't know if I can go in because like those bees were freaking me out and I got real worried I was going to get stung by bees and die like Macaulay Culkin that that was definitely not a movie to show to a kid until a little older because it's it was like one of the first things I think I saw too that dealt with death and the last one is Poltergeist, and I don't own even own a copy of that because I feel like it might be bad vibes owning that movie because so many people involved in that died weird deaths, and I don't know, it just got weird vibes to it. It's almost like I'd I, I'd refused to watch them. I haven't watched the first one in, in about seven years because after I watched that E. True Hollywood story on it, I was like, you know what, I'm not, I don't want that in the house. And I haven't even watched the sequels, and I like the sequels. I, I, in a way, I just wish I could watch them again without worrying about the bad omen of owning those movies. But I guess owning them would be all right. But I'm sure a lot of people know what I'm talking about. A lot of people got weird illnesses from that movie, you know, years later. And I don't know. Like, there's some movies, too, when they say they were breathing stuff in the set. And they it, it could be many reasons. So, um, thanks for watching this DVD update video. Post, um videos like shows that's and whatever that scared you as a kid and um, post some suggestions for other ones of these you'd like to see me do and I'll be doing more regularly now and as you know I talked about in one of the other videos I finally got my license I didn't speak about that before but I finally did so now I can go more places and show myself getting DVDs more places I just posted one yesterday and, and it's like around the town. It's called The Best Day in Weeks and Months, and it shows me buying some more DVDs at Best Buy, so look for that one. I'm, I'll post it underneath so you can see it if you want to watch that. So anyway, thanks for watching.